Hi and welcome back. You see, in the last couple of videos, we've been able to move from defining a business goal to importing our data and where we are now, which is exploratory data analysis. Don't forget the goal is to show you all this process. I sort of crash, you know, a crash program around our machine learning using the simplest, easiest possible use case without technical jargons. Now it's time to explore our data and we're going to be making use of a library from Rising Odegua called Data Assist. All credit goes to, you know, uh, Rising. I, I owe you a lot, you know, the community owes you a lot for simplifying this aspect of the project. You're going to see why. If you have done exploratory data analysis before, you know, practically what it means is you have to start looking at your data one by one, you know, understand what are the missing values, what are the, how many categories do you have, what is the percentage distribution, you do visualizations all across, five number summary and the rest. These are the things that you have to do and write code for each of those tasks. But what the has helped us to do now is, it's simple, you know, it's saying, hey, this is actually not the end goal. I mean, over 60 percent of the activities of data scientists is on exploring, preparing data and, you know, doing those transformation. And that's why Rising is that, okay, I, I I don't know what was going through Rising's mind that time, but I'm, I'm definitely sure it, it's like, um, you just need to go straight, do this thing. I mean, don't get so much into the loop of preparing data, transforming data, which is important, you know, but that shouldn't be as much as 60 percent. How about doing other tasks? How about, you know, concentrating on building the best possible model? Okay, today is not for episode one on that. I've hosted him over and over again and he has shared on this library. So this is why I'm, I'm kind of so confident to use this library and I've used it repeatedly and I'm also going to use it here. I'm just going to write simple instructions for you, don't worry. So before I move on to start using this library, let me just show you the GitHub page for that same library. I'm going to add the link to the YouTube video now so you can also explore this for yourself and see all you know that is on i love this logo beyond the logo i like exactly you know the solution here you see this how to install it which we're actually going to do so let me just copy this so you see it's straightforward right so i've also adapted this data assist is a python package providing remember fast quick and an abstracted interface to popular and frequently used functions or techniques relating to data analysis. So it's not just for data analysis, for data analysis, data visualization, data exploration, feature engineering, computer, natural language processing, wow. I mean, I did not know of the deep learning and the rest. I knew of the modeling, in fact, including model deployment, ETC. So the library is very equipped. And let's see, if I go for a competition, the best way for me to use data assist library is to, you know, first thing is, under 15 minutes, when I import my data, I can actually build a model and set that as my base model. Okay, so let me now start going back and do uh, feature engineering the way I wanted to do it, you know, start exploring the data. You can actually get something as fast as possible. All right, let's go ahead and install this library. I have to start with a question, uh, exclamation mark. I'm going to paste that command. So, shift enter to install the, P, uh, that's the, data assist library i'm trying to install it and once it's done installing i also have to import it so requirement or the satisfied because i have I guess i've installed this before all right so the next thing is to import data assist so i'm going to import data assist as ds i mean the convention is also smooth to go with you know that's the alias okay import it as ds now i'm going to Execute my command shift enter to move to new line. So it's going to import data assist library. And then the first thing we're going to do right here is let us check, describe. There's a function. Data assist has some functions, but just follow this course. Uh, you can read the documentation and get to know more. But right here, just use these three functions that I'm going to talk about. The first is describe. So because data assist is now ds, so I'm going to put ds dot struct data. For structured data, struct data dot describe. Then I'm going to put inside this bracket my data frame. And my data frame is stored inside the variable called data underscore df. 
is that not what we call it let me check that is what we have right there data underscore df that is the uh, variable hosting our data so I just, I just put it out right here describe this data is a structured data then describe structured data shift enter and the magic wow -woo. here is the magic can you see the magic this is not black magic uh, but this is truly magical like auto magic I love this feeling right here by just pressing ds by typing ds strut the dot strut data dot describe I can see the first five data point this is like head this is the head actually is the same thing as saying the data uh, underscore df dot head so what is there is what <laughs> we can see here tail is here the random oh this is even a random you know random generating random five data i have to write another function for that imagine and the last five which is the tail the last five is tail let me just take head and tail so to let you know tail shift enter that is also what we have here is everything in just one single command not just the three of them you can see the shape of the data which means hundred thousand rows and nine columns what is the size of the data that's um, row times column that's hundred thousand data type is telling us this is the data type note all non-numeric features are identified as object imagine by default car name this data type is object meaning it is integer so i'm uh, sorry when it is object means a string as, as far as it's not integer or float they are classified as object in pandas so you can see all this it's also telling us these are the numeric features in our data these are the variables that are numbers wow -woo. Categorical features in the data set. Statistical description. This, you know, I saw this statistic from the university, and um, what I'm seeing is really, really awesome. The first, la the last part here from minimum, you know, 25%, 50, 75, and max, they are called five number summary. You know, more or less what you get with your box plot. It just gives you the entire distribution of the data. Today is not about describing the distribution, but come on, with that single command, you can see the count of the data seem, seem like there's no missing data. This is the average, which is the mean, this is the standard deviation, the minimum observation, the first quartile, the median, which is the you know, second quartile, the third quartile is the um, 75% and here is the maximum. Wow. Then description of categorical variables. So not just for numeric, these are for numeric and these are for categorical. Wow. -woo. I love this. For car name, this is unique count, this is the top one that has the highest frequency type you know there are three the petrol is the highest one with this frequency wow really cool and again still trying to show us everything in a graph you know just similar to what we have here in terms of the the unique count for those guys then you see missing values in data so there's no missing values also helping us to see that you know, i i hope you understand <laughs> what we just did right here it's not small by typing this simple code, here we have all these responses for us to output for us to consider. So let's go ahead and maybe write some code again for visualization. Let's just plot data. So similar to this, ds dot visualization visualizations dot. I think that okay. Let's do can't can't plot can't plot. I'm going to say data underscore df. it started unique car is too large you know they have 98 observations so i cannot plot chart for you but how about others four type by typing do you know what it take you to start writing all this one by one but you save that time Let, let's move to the last one i just want to show you is about um, um cluster cluster chart you know so that we can have maybe manual cluster with age cluster with maybe car type and the rest similar to what we just did there there are ds dot visualization visualizations dot count plot same count plot we just did just that we have to now put a separator here the data is data underscore df i have to put separate by meaning you know group them more or less group by so separate by what do i want to separate by let me use the seller type you can use any categorical variable so i'm going to type seller type here then let's run or same experience for car name but how about others wow you see so we have individual and dealer for petrol we have dealer 
having more petrol cars than individual. And where we still have dealers, overall we have dealers having more cars than others. But we can see a huge close matchup between petrol cars. Uh, how about um, individual, of course this is the individual as well as a uh, against individuals so you don't get any difference and here for manual we have um we have, there's no significant difference because in two areas dealers have more of this car type than um than than you know than others in terms of transmission than the individual okay cool you see we have been able to by just writing three commands i can start looking at why is this like this you can be asking the right question and explore further this should be exciting for you to me it is auto magic and once again thanks to rising of Degua, we are done with a brief exploratory data analysis then in the next video ahmed will be taking us into feature engineering of course it's not going to take too long time it's still going to be straightforward to the learning that we need to have so that we can go ahead and, and, and acquire the knowledge thank you and see you in the next video bye for now